Yo, what's up guys? John Sedan here from Yield Guild Games and in this video, we will be minting your first NFT for free. We will be using MetaMask and OpenSea to create your first NFT. And also, we will be using a process called Lazy Minting to be able to mint these without spending any money. Let's go. All right, so first off, we will be creating your crypto wallet. In this case, we will be using MetaMask. Go to metamask.io. And all you need to do is download the extension, install MetaMask for Firefox. There you go, add to Firefox. And if you're using a different browser like Google Chrome or brave you might have to go through different processes but the idea is the same and once you've installed your um, extension all you have to do is click get started and yes let's get set up create a wallet and click i agree and now you have to create a safe password and i have read and agreed to the terms of use create don't save so this is your secret backup phrase and this is what you will be using to log in to different devices so click on reveal and make sure to write these down and then you just have to enter everything once again for the purpose of this video i wrote it down on notepad but yes, please do be safe. And there, you're all done. Congratulations, you've now set up your MetaMask. So now you have your MetaMask Ethereum wallet. And this is gonna be your Ethereum address. So you can just click it to copy it if you need it later on. And you're ready to go to OpenSea. All right, and then when you get to OpenSea.io, first thing you have to do is log in with your wallet. So click this and then go to MetaMask then yes next connect your account all right and you are good to go so since we are going to be minting our nft for free we do not need any money all right in our wallet so how you do it is we go to click this icon for your profile and then go to my collections so how we're going to do it is we are going to be creating a collection and then in that collection is where we will be creating our NFT and minting it for free. So click create a collection. So first thing you want to do is to sign your wallet. And then when that's done, just upload your image. There you go. And then a featured image. And then a banner. And then the name of your collection. Save the future creating cards there you go and then you can put a customized url so this is what you will be sending your friends to check out and then a description and then add a category trading cards all right then you just have to fill in your socials stf so and next is royalties so this is very important because this is what you will be getting in percentage from every time that NFT that you mint is sold. So for example, you sell your NFT card for let's say one Ethereum, you're gonna be getting 0.10 ETH straight to your wallet. So let's put it at 10%. And then you have to enter your wallet address where you want your royalties to be sent. So in this case, we're gonna be using our same wallet. And then next is the blockchain. So in this case, if you do want to save on fees in the future, I suggest that you do it on Polygon. But right now, it doesn't really matter because we are going to be doing it for free. And then add a token, however you want to get paid in the future. So let's just keep it at Ethereum and maybe also USDC. And then now the display theme of how you want to show your artwork. So in this case, we will be using covered because we want the artwork to extend to the edges. And then create. All right, now you have your, let's say your gallery. All right, now you have your profile. And in this profile, we can start minting our NFTs for free. And the way to do that is click add item. And then now 
and then you can just drag and drop our NFT. There you go. And then a preview image. So this is what we will be seeing on the thumbnail. So in this case, I'm just going to be using the same image as my NFT. There you go. And then this is going to be save the future Sedano one out of one. All right. And then an external link that you want to link your followers or your buyers to. Let's say save the future.io. And then in the description, you can provide any information that you want to share for the ones who will be buying your NFT. So this is a rare one out of one Sedano NFT trading card. And here is where you customize the traits of your card. So this is really important if you are going to be doing cards or NFT collectibles in the same collection. So here we could put maybe a type is let's call it um, a race. And then maybe we could um, consider mine as a let's say a humanoid cyborg. There you go. So it's really up to you how creative you want to get with the characteristics of these cards that you have levels. And then maybe we could put attack power. At, let's say five out of five and then stats you can just go really crazy like whatever you want here so speed baby let's say um a skill level then maybe you can do like a four out of five and, and here is what's really cool about these nfts you can actually put hidden and unlockable content within them that can only be available to those who buy the nft so in this case, maybe we could put in a secret code that they can redeem or maybe a website or something that links to, I don't know, like a download, an exclusive download. So for example, let's say it links to a specific download page uh, that only is available to everyone who has the NFT. So, and then here, uh, we can mint how many, uh, how many copies you want. And here, blockchain, polygon, and freeze metadata if you wish to. But now let's go. Go ahead and double check and create our NFT. Let's go. Nice. All right. So now we can get the link, share on Facebook, Twitter, Telegram. And yeah, there you have it. So you have your first NFT that you minted for free. You can sell this to your friends. And the only difference from a free minted NFT from a paid one is you can't actually list a specific price, how you want, how much you want it to be bought. The only difference is people will have to bid and you will have to accept how much they offer to pay for the NFT. And just to give you a quick background on how this free minting works is there is an article that you can find on the OpenSea blog and here it is. So what it does is it lets you mint your NFTs without going to the blockchain just yet. This process is called lazy minting. So here it is, the new collection manager allows creators to make NFTs without any upfront gas cost as the NFT isn't transferred on chain until the first purchase of the transfer is made. So what happens here is the buyer will be paying for the NFT before he gets it into his account. And that's really cool because it gives a lot of opportunity for artists who don't have access to extra money that they can spare to just create as much NFTs as they want. Like with this technology, anyone can just, you know, put up a collection, upload as many NFTs as he wants, and yeah, just take his chances on getting his artwork sold and bought up by other people on the open market. So there you have it. Congratulations on minting your first NFT. So if you guys would like to see more videos like this, make sure to hit like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. But until then, I'll see you in the metaverse. Bye-bye.